Um, <laughs> what's I, I guess what's one of the mistakes though that you feel you made that you learned the most from? Because a lot of people, it's easy to talk about your success, especially at a conference. Most people can talk about the success, but we rarely touch on what could be deemed as a failure or a pivot moment. So while building this new company, what do you think was one of the biggest lessons you learned from either a mistake or just either a missed opportunity? Yeah, you know, it's, so I don't know if it's a mistake yet. That's even better. Right. So now um, we can document this. But it does to contribute it. to the challenge, right? Like, the, the problem that I'm solving is big. And I'm building a music social network, right, to democratize new music discovery. And it's a wide open space. It's a very big proposition. And on the one hand, on the other hand, so people gave me two and a quarter million dollars. And for most people, they think, you give me two million dollars, I can give you a profitable company, right? And, and so, so part of me wants to say, could I have taken baby steps and tried to create revenue more sooner, sooner and, and, and so on? And, and I don't know. I mean, like, Facebook didn't make revenues, you know, until they were, like, you know, they, they were getting a lot of money in there, right, to build the community. It's, a, it's an expensive proposition. So, so I wonder if, I don't know if the jury, the jury's still out on it yet, because if I raise my next million dollars, which I'm in the market for now, like, it's not an issue. I mean, I think in this room, we would say the jury is already that you're successful because you already have the ambition to try because enough people have forgiveness of failure and they're still deemed successful. Right. So I don't think it's a, I don't think you have to wait for that jury. I think in here, right, if we had to judge it right now, we would go ahead and deem it successful, correct? You've raised the money. You've already accomplished what most people can't accomplish. Yeah, but we broke now, man. I need another <laughs> you know? It's like, you, know, it, it, you, it, you can fall real fast. But you know what? At least you got to chase the dream. Yeah, you're most right people about that. Are, Most you're people right are here that. not even willing to chase the dream. They get yeah. scared before they chase the yeah, dream. Yeah, a lot of my friends tell me, they said, man, you know, I'm, I'm 58 years old, and I left my company. You're what? I, yeah. Nah. Yeah, I'm an old man. Yeah, young heart. Yeah, yeah. So, so I left my company at 50. I left Diddy at 56 years old to start a new company, and they're like, what? Like... And let's face it, like, it's, I haven't had a W-2 in, like, two years, man. That's, that's real. <laughs> My wife is like, so when's Twitter going to pop, right? <laughs> Everything, everything's on hold. Like, so we ain't going on vacation. Like, we ain't. <laughs> the yacht become a boat. The boat becomes sitting riverside. You know, I just sold my cars, you know. <laughs> I'm Ubering around. <laughs> like, you start, you know, really, you start making changes in your lifestyle just, just to, you know. But I think that's important for everybody to hear because yeah. you got to know the sacrifices it yeah. makes to chase a dream. Yeah. Because most people will probably think, okay, you work for Diddy and you're doing this, but you're living plush. Right. Not realizing no matter where you stand in life, you're still going to have to make sacrifices. You got to make those sacrifices, yeah. And they're real. So, 